Hi, violin harmony players, and um, I am so excited to see you. Uh, I hope you're doing well. If you're having problems with your instruments, let me know um, through our Google Classroom or our Blackboard or through my email. I am available Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 1 until 2.30 um, to answer questions. I um, will be playing lines 1 and 3 of Cripple Creek today. I've already made a YouTube video um, going through all of Cripple Creek slowly um, to help you with it, but if this video is helpful to you as well, then go ahead and use this. I would also love if you could send me some flip grids after you're done with this so I could see the progress you're making on the song and try to help you, uh, but whatever you feel like, I would love to see you and your instruments. Looking at the first line of Cripple Creek, we start with an A. While you're playing that open A, have your F sharp ready on the D string. So we start with three open A's. A, 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 F sharp, D. Let's play that again. So you're starting with open A and you have an F sharp ready. Ready, go. A, 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 F sharp, D. Then you play D again. G, three fingers. F sharp. Half note. That F sharp should be very long. Now, when you put your D, uh, G down, you don't have time to go, uh, uh, uh. you have to plop them all down. Let's play the first two measures again of line one. F sharp's ready, and you start on A. Ready, go. A, 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 F sharp, D, D, G, F sharp. Now, going into the second half of the same line, all line one, keep your F sharp down, but play A again. A, 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 F sharp, D. This is the second half of line one. Now you're going to go to your lowest string, to your G string, and you're going to play two, two, one, otherwise known as B, B, A, on your lowest string. Ready, go. Two, two, one. And, ooh, and that one is very long. It's a half note. Oh, there's a little fly flying around. Let's play the second half of line one again. You have your F sharp ready because you just played that super long half note at the end of the first half of line one. Let's play the second half of line one. Ready, go. A, 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 F sharp, D, B, B, A. Very long there. Let's play all of line one. You start with your F sharp ready, but you're playing A, one, and two, and all of line one. A, 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 F sharp, D, D, G, F sharp, leave it down, A, 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 F sharp, D, low string, B, two, two, one. That one should be very long at the end. That happens the exact same thing in line two. That's something that you can work on on your own. They're the exact same thing. Looking at line three. At the end of line two, you just played one finger on the G string, which is convenient because line three starts with one finger on the G string. So let's start there with one finger on the G string. One, 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 one. The rhythm is long, short, short, long, short, short. Let's play that again. One, 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 one. Then on the D string, you have two fast Ds. D, D. And then slower. F sharp, F sharp. Let's play that again. Two fast Ds and then two slower F sharps. Ready, Ds. D, D, F sharp, F sharp. Let's play those first two measures of line three. One on your lowest string, one on G. Ready, go. One, 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 fast, fast, F sharp, F sharp. F sharp should be long, it's a half note, it's not colored in. You may have noticed me say fast, fast on those two Ds. That's because a lot of people accidentally play longer Ds there, they play slower Ds. Those are eighth notes, they need to be faster. So if you need to, write fast, fast under those two Ds in line three. The second half of line three is pretty similar, but instead of going D, D, F sharp, F sharp, you're going to stay on the G string and you're gonna go zero, 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 one. So the second half of line three is like this. One, 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 zero, 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 one, all on the G string. Let's play the second half 
of line three. Ready, go. One, 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 zero, 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 one. And that one should be very long. Also convenient because line four starts with one on the G string, so leave it there. Uh, let's do it again, but instead of saying numbers, I'm gonna say the letters. It's A is one finger. I know crazy because you have this A, but this is A as well, one on G, and then open G. One on the G string is A, second half of line three. Ready, go. A, 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 G, 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 A. And there are lines one and three of Cripple Creek for you. Like I said, I've also made videos going through all of Cripple Creek if you'd like to watch those. I'd love to get flip grids from you if you have that capability right now. And I'd love to hear from you and look out for more videos and things to do on our Google Classroom and Blackboard.